Hello everybody, today I'll be painting a Skaven clan red. I started off using a Chaos Black undercoat from a spray can. Then using yellow olive, I paint in the first color on the cloth. Just make sure I have um, all the parts that I want to have this color and painted it uh, fully, leaving no shadows visible. Then using shadow grey, I paint the second cloth color and again I make sure I paint in everything. Once that's dry, using black metal, I'm going to paint in all the metallic parts. And again, I make sure I just um, paint everything, leaving uh, no recesses open or anything. Then using Agrox Earthshade, I wash the entire model. I try not to have this pulled uh, too much. Just get it into the recesses and have a nice uh, dark and dirty shading effect. And then using gunmetal, I carefully dry brush all the metallic parts. I try and make sure not to hit any of the other painted parts. This is then followed by um, a dry brush on the on the blade uh, in case the model has a spear. I'll do the spear as well. And um, I had another model, and this one had chainmail, so I decided to do chainmail on this model as well with a little bit of silver, just to get a little bit of contrast between the darker and the lighter metallics. Then using shadow gray again, I highlight the first cloth color. I make sure I leave uh, the Agrax Earthshade visible in the recesses and a little bit of the first coat of uh, the Shadow Grey. Then a mixture of three part Shadow Grey and one part Wolf Grey has been made. And I continue highlighting and strengthening the previous layer that I highlighted on. Then I add one part dead white to this mixture and I repeat the process. At this time I stay towards the outsides of the cloth. Back to the green cloth, I use yellow olive and I go over the same thing as with the grey part, highlighting the green up, leaving the Agrox Earthshade in the recesses visible and a little bit of the previous layer of yellow olive to get some transitions. Next I make a mixture of uh, yellow olive and, cam and camouflage green in a 2 to 1 ratio. And I start working up the green color, making it slightly lighter towards the outside of the, of the surfaces. I make sure I leave a little bit of the previous layers visible. And again, by adding one part dead white to this mixture, I repeat this process, strengthening the color towards the outside of the surfaces. Next I make a mixture of one part tan and two parts pale flesh and I block in 
all the skin on the model. I was actually kind of surprised with the amount of skin I encountered. I expected it not to be this much. Once that's dry, I use red tone and I wash all the skin. And the red tone is a bit uh, softer than, for example, Caraburg Crimson, which turns out a bit darker when it's uh, when it's applied in a heavy coat. And that's why I sometimes use these washes um, instead of the Citadel washes. Once that's dry, I go back to the previous uh, mixture of one part tan and two parts uh, pale flesh, and I paint in an initial highlight. I make sure I leave the recesses red, and I leave a little bit of the first coat visible as well. Next, I'm going to um, strengthen this uh, this highlight by adding two parts pale flesh to the previous mixture, and I work the colors up again towards the outside, towards the light, getting a gradually stronger and more uh, light uh, light effects on the model. Then by adding two parts white to this picture, I'm going to apply a last highlight to the skin. And I'm only going to be bothered with painting it on the upside of the model, and to the side where it's clearly visible. And basically how I do this is I look to the model from the upside. And Everything I can see, I'm going to highlight. Keeping in mind that I will keep some recesses open, obviously, for uh, some effects. The fur is then blocked in with Beastie Brow. And for the wooden parts, I made a mixture of one part charred brown and one part earth, and I blocked in all the wooden parts. Then using Agrax Earthshade, I wash both the uh, fur and the wooden parts to create a shading. Be careful not to spill over on the cloth and the other parts of the model. Then I make the same mixture of one part charred brown and one part earth and I dry brush on the, the wooden part. I try and work from the upside towards the bottom a bit to get a little bit of transition in the light. I then add one part khaki to this mixture and I repeat this process, leaving little bits of the previous layers uh, untouched and by adding another part of khaki I can, I can then strengthen the lightest parts of the shield at least the parts that I want to be the lightest parts of the shield then using BC brown I apply a highlight to all the fur parts I leave the darkest areas untouched as usual to get the sh keep the shading in, uh, intact. 
Then I make a mixture of one part PC brown and one part leather brown and I repeat this process leaving a little bit of the previous layer visible. And then by adding one part khaki to this mixture, I go over the process again, only trying to uh, paint the tips of the hair. Then using bloody red, and I'm sorry for the little bit of out of focus uh, footage, I paint in the eyes. And once that's dry, I wash the eyes with Garrowbur Crimson, just to give them a nice red glowish effect. Then using Earth, I paint in the nails, the teeth of the model, and the, the ropes, straps. Um, just block all those parts in. Then using Agrax Earthshade, I wash the ropes and the belts and little pieces the model has hanging all over him. Using Bone White, I then apply a highlight to the teeth. And for the nails, I make a mixture of one part earth and two parts bone white, and I apply a highlight to the nails as well. Then I make a mixture of one part earth and one part khaki, and I paint the ropes and uh, his belt. Um, or paint, I highlight these parts, leaving the recesses visible, as you can see right now. And I then repeat that process using pure khaki. Once that's done, uh, the model is done, and I uh, apply the coat of uh, matte varnish to it, and I uh, finish up the basic. So guys, I hope you uh, liked this video, please like, share and subscribe if you want to, if you dislike it, please let me know why, so I can improve on that. If you'd like to see me paint uh, a different model in the future, let me know as well, I'll see what I can do. So again, thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.